everybody, it's me, Mia Franiken. Welcome back to my channel and to a uh, tier list. Um, first of all, yes, I have short hair now. Um, I got a haircut quite a while ago. Uh, it's been a while. I You've seen it on my like latest stream, I think, from like a few weeks ago, but um, here it is in all its glory. Wow. Um, a lot has happened a little bit. Um, I'm recording this video on my iPhone 12 because it it's a good camera. Um, and I, again, I want to apologize for not putting out videos in the past like month or two months. Um, I've just been really tired and, you know, I just get kind of burnt out. And I don't know, sometimes the content I make, I sometimes feel like I'm the only one who would watch it. And I mean, like, I, I do say, like, I make my videos for myself first and foremost but sometimes you know i want you guys to interact and it's a little hard sometimes when you don't really get too many comments but i promise i'm going to be making some more videos like this um i need to do a review of season two's dub of kuroko no Basuke. i just have to watch season two because i haven't had time to but um that's coming uh so yeah let's just get into this tier list so uh, as you can see we're gonna be doing a tier list uh, of the Jujutsu Kaisen characters, just the ones from the anime. I found this one. It's like the one people from the anime. Um, it's not everybody. Uh, like Junpei's mom's not on here. I thought that maybe we could rate her, but I guess not. So, um, what do I think of her? She, she pretty, she pretty smashable. I mean, she's well. I won't give you any spoilers if you haven't seen Jujutsu Kaisen, but you should go watch it. It's a good show. Very good great great show um okay <clears throat> so first first off uh here on the list we got maki my girl maki um okay so she's a badass she's pretty tough she is definitely someone you don't want to mess with and you know she already gets like shit from her sister her twin sister who we're gonna rate later um spoiler alert her sister is gonna be below her because she's kind of a bitch uh but <laughs> maki you know i would say maki's like a tier she's a tier you know she can fight well with weapons like cursed weapons um she wears glasses she's pretty great um i like that she doesn't take crap from anybody especially her sister and, you know, she can't, like, she wasn't born to be able to, like, see curses, so, like, her glasses kind of help with that, apparently. Um, so, like, I think that's interesting. Like, she still wants to become a sorcerer, even though, like, her sister is, like, more akin to, like, the sorcerer shit or whatever. Um, alright. Next, uh, is this Ghetto? Suguru Ghetto. Um, I mean, he's hot, but, you know, I try to base my, my, uh likings or dislikes mostly on personality because if you're like annoying but you're hot like i might tolerate you it just really depends um but i, I mean he's i i know him and goldro have like a past together um that's pretty much all i know i haven't read the manga so i don't know like their like actual past but i mean he's like a bad guy but you know Bad guys are, can be sexy. Uh, he's, again, he's pretty hot. Um, I'll put him on C tier, though, just because I don't really know too much about him. And, you know, he's not D tier yet because we haven't really seen him, like, fight or anything, um, from what I recall. And, like, I don't know. He's just kind of there so far. But, you know, we know that he's, like, he's, he's, he's in there somewhere, you know? Next, everyone's favorite... Dilf, who's not a, a dad, not a me. Um, I mean, he got a sexy voice. Um, he's pretty like chill. I liked the scenes between him and like that girl that works at that bakery that he like would go to or does go to. I can't remember if he doesn't go there anymore. Um, and I liked him training Yuji. Like that was pretty cool. That was pretty, 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 pretty nice. You know, you know, I can see why he's like, you know daddy material um but he's not my favorite though he's not my favorite like s tier character 
But should I put him- I'm gonna put him in S tier though. He's pretty S tier. I'll put him there for you guys because I know you guys are gonna be screaming at me in the comments if I don't put him in S tier. So I'm gonna put him in S tier. So don't worry. He's S tier, but he's not like my high S tier. He's like... He's like low S tier, but he's still- he's still good. Alright, next. Oh, my girl, Kugisaki Nobara. She's fucking S tier. She is obviously S tier. She's pretty great. Pretty, pretty cool. I like her haircut. You know, it's the short haircut. We got the same haircut, almost. Not really. Um, but her hair's short. I like it. I like that she uses, like, the nails and the hammer. I think that's pretty cool. She was so badass in the final episode of season one. Like, that really just, like, cemented how cool she is to me, I think. Like, she was not afraid to just, like, die right then and there. And, you know, she did- I mean, she didn't, obviously. Um spoilers by the way kind of there's gonna be spoilers in this like I, I can't avoid spoilers if I'm gonna talk about like why these characters are on like certain tiers so yeah spoilers but yeah she was really badass like put like you know putting the nail and shit in her own arm or whatever like that was pretty cool like you know I wish I could be like that and she's just really fun she's a fun character um you know I like I want to hang out with her I want to go shopping with her like you want to go to the mall with a character like that uh, Ghetto is on here twice. I don't understand that, so we're still gonna put him in C tier. Um, Gojo. My man Gojo. Everyone's favorite man whore. He, I mean, he's confirmed, uh, like, man whore. You know, he ain't gonna commit to anybody, not even me. And I feel like I, I would try my best to make him commit to me, but, you know, I don't think that's gonna happen. The, the, the mangaka already said, like, he is... A, a whore through and through. He is not gonna... He's just gonna do what he wants with anybody that he wants. But you know what? That's not what makes him S tier. What makes him S tier is his personality, uh, his fighting skills, and because he's super hot. Um, that's why he's S tier. You know, everyone wants to husband him up. He is husbando material, but not really because he would not... He would cheat on you, for sure. He would cheat on everybody with everybody else. Um, is he just that kind of guy? But, you know, there's a lot of really good <laughs> Gojo X Reader, uh, fan fiction where, you know, you do somehow get him to commit to you. And it's very sweet, very cute fan fiction. Highly recommend it if you do want to, you know, kind of pretend that you got Gojo to settle down. Good fan fiction is out there. Just check AO3. Um, okay, next is this cursed bitch that I forgot their name. Hanami. Um, I'm afraid of this character. Like, they are just, like, too, too scary. Um, I mean, they make, like, flowers and shit. Um, but I don't know, man. I'm kind of scared of this character. Like, they would murder me. And I'm not about that life. And, you know, I, I think some of these other characters would be able to protect me from this character, from this curse, but... Um, yeah, I'm gonna put D tier because I'm afraid and I don't want to come across this this character uh, ever. Jogo. Um, another cursed spirit. Um, but he's actually pretty funny, you know? Uh, it was awesome when he just, like, turned into a head because, like, you know, only his head survived. It was pretty great. You know, that was... That was some quality there. Um, I liked the, uh, like, little end part where they're playing, like, soccer with his head. That was pretty funny. Um, but I'm still also afraid of him, so I'm gonna put him in D tier, because I don't like him either. He's kind of annoying. Um, okay. Next. Ijichi. Kiyotaka Ijichi. Okay, the, like, the driver guy. Who, like, takes him... You know, I like him. He's a nice guy. He takes them where they need to go. You know, the students. Um, I haven't, I haven't really, like... I don't, I don't have any problems with him. But I also, like, don't love him. So I'm gonna put him in B tier. Um, maybe in season two he will become an A tier. I don't know. Um, but he's a nice guy. Next, Junpei. Man, whenever I think of Junpei, I always think of, like... They're just being lied to. Like, they lied to us uh, in the first opening. 
Those bastards lied to us. They made us think that he was gonna join Yuji as a freaking first year with the others, and that did not happen. Um, but you know, he's he's also B tier because you know he did kind of like do evil shit a little bit because he did get manipulated. But I'm like, I don't know. He's B tier, and he's I mean he's dead so. And his mom is also B-tier, because she also, she's also dead. Um, but she was nice. She was a nice lady. Very attractive as well. Um, okay, next is this dude. I don't remember his name. Um, Noritoshi Kamo. This dude from the other school. From, what's it called? What school is this? Uh, Kyoto Jujutsu High. Not Tokyo, but Kyoto. Um, he's aight. I mean, he's not, like, the best. Um, I didn't like that he was, like, super into, like, killing Yuji. Like, that was kind of messed up. Um, and I forget what his power is. Uh, like, his sorcery specialty or whatever. Um, he's just not that interesting to me. So, yeah, I'm not gonna... I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Um, so, yeah, I'm gonna put him in B. He's... I don't hate him, but I don't love him. All right, next, Mahito, this creepy dude, this cursed spirit. Um, I mean, he's hot. Is he? Is it a he? I guess. I guess he identifies as a he. Um, it's a spirit, so yeah. Uh, but he messed up Junpei bad, man. Um, I mean, he's got cool powers. Like, I would be afraid of him, though. Uh, he's not D-tier. He's definitely not D-tier. I'm gonna put him in C-tier with Geto. They can be best friends here in, in C-tier, because they're already, like, best friends. Um, like, in their little group or whatever. Um. <clears throat> so, yeah. He, he's gonna go in C-tier. You know, I don't hate him. But, you know, I don't want to come across him either. Because, you know, he's, like... He can mess you up. I mean, we saw he killed so many people. Alright, next, Mai, which is Maki's twin sister. Um, she's D-tier. I don't like her. She's annoying. Um, I like these characters better than I like her. She's just kind of a bitch. Like, and she just uses a gun. Like, she doesn't even, like, do close combat fighting like, like her sister does. And I just don't like that she thinks she's better than her sister. Like, I know we saw their backstory and whatever, but I still just don't... I just, I just don't like her. So, sorry, my stands. Um, Maki's better. She's definitely way better. Her sister's D tier, and uh, Maki's A tier. Next is Muta, the dude who, this is his, like, robot suit thing that he controls, because he's, like, all jacked up in, like, some bathtub somewhere. Um, the robot suit's cool, but that thing got defeated, like, kind of quick. Like... After he got destroyed, like, he couldn't do anything. And then they had to, like, replace him with, like, a bag of flowers. I mean, I can't, I can't remember what it was. Um. But I don't hate him. I'll put him in beats here. Next is Miwa. Uh, this girl. Who was kind of, like, she wanted to flirt with Gojo a little bit. Which is kind of weird. Because, I mean, he's, like, a teacher. And she's, like, oops. She's, like, he's, like, a teacher. And she's, like, a student. At another school, so that's kind of strange. Um, she got beat really easily as well. Like, she didn't really put up that much of a fight. And she's a second year. So, you know, I'm kind of unimpressed by her, but she's definitely not D tier. I would say she's C tier, but she's like high C tier. Um, she's higher than these two. So she's gonna go in C tier. Okay, next. Momo Nishimiya, the witch girl. Um, she kind of reminds me of, like, Kiki from Kiki's Delivery Service, but, like, not actual Kiki, sorry. She reminds me of that girl that she meets up with, like, randomly in the sky. She reminds me of that girl, but, uh, this girl, I mean, you know, she, she's pretty cool. She's a third year, she flies on a broom, like, that's cool, um, but I still think she's B tier. Uh, Panda, A tier. He's a talking panda. Like, how cool is that? And he does some, like, cool, like, parkour shit on some roofs. So that's pretty awesome. Alright, so this is next. Sukuna S tier. Actually, top of... He's top S tier. Move. Nanami move. Gojo was, like... 
I'll put Gojo between Nanami and Tsukuna. Tsukuna's S tier. I think you can understand why. <laughs> he is number one S tier for me. He's just... I know he's evil. He's like a demon and stuff. Or like, he's a cursed spirit, whatever. He's like a vengeful spirit, whatever the hell that means. Um, but I, I still want him to step on me and punch me in the face and uh, take me out to dinner as well. Um, yeah. Uh, I think that's all I really have to say about Tsukuna. Um, I mean, he, come on. Come on, guys. He's voiced by Suwabe-san in Japanese. I gotta love him. Uh, next, Todo. Um, Todo's like A tier. I'm not gonna say he's S tier just cause like He's got that weird, like, otaku obsession with that one girl, uh, that one idol girl. And, you know, I don't know. I feel like... I feel like he would be one of those guys that, like, you know, he would be nice to you if you weren't his type of, like, girl. But, like, he might still, like, kind of talk shit about you. I don't know. I don't know. He, like, he likes... His type of woman is the same as Yuji's. Is like, I like a tall woman with a big ass. Um, and I'm none of those, neither of those things. I do like big, muscular dudes. Um, you know, like, I think that's, I, I like that. Because I feel, I'm, you know, I'm like a, a plus size person. So, you know, it's kind of like, well, I kind of want to date a guy who's like big and muscular. Who could like possibly carry me. And he definitely would be able to carry me. But I'm putting him in A tier. He's definitely not as cool as Panda or Maki. So he's gonna go here on A tier. But he's cool, you know, he's aight. He needs to chill out though. Uh, next we've got Inumaki. Um, I say he's S tier. He can fight pretty well. Uh, I like that he talks in like sushi ingredients. Like, I think that's pretty funny. And then, like, when he actually speaks other words, it's when he's like using his like sorcery, which is pretty cool. And he's cute. Like, he's just really cute. And I feel like he would be a good friend. So, you know, I'm, I'm gonna put him in S tier. Megumi is definitely S tier. He's under Nanami, um, for sure. Uh, but he's a soft-spoken, kind of, you know, quiet dude. But he's really nice. Um, he kind of just kind of rolls with it. But, uh, you know, he uses the aminol kind of sorcery powers. Um, his, like, little doggies are pretty cute. He has that weird elephant. Um, he's got that weird, like, bird with, like, a mask. It kind of looks like a... What's the Pokemon? Um, not Pidgeotto. Is it Pidgeotto? Or maybe Pidgeot? I forget which one. But he looks like a... He has, like, weird Pokemon monsters that he uses to fight curses. And, and like, he's pretty cool. Um, his dad is pretty hot. I've seen the dad. I've seen the memes. Um, on looks alone, his dad would be S tier. But he's, like, a psycho guy, apparently. He's, like, kind of scary psychotic or some shit um so until he's in the anime i will not actually put him in s tier um his dad megumi is s tier uh the the coroner lady i don't remember her name uh what is her name oh uh yadi shoko she's the coroner lady um she's b tier i don't remember her like barely at all i just remember she's the coroner lady because this is like the tiled uh, walls. Um, so yeah, she goes in B tier. Uh, Yori, the other, like, teacher that's, like, equivalent to Gojo in, like, the Kyoto school. Um, she's, like, C tier. She's kind of annoying. I'll put her above Ghetto, though. She pretty, she was pretty boring. She's C tier. Harmless, but eh. Uh, the old man. Gaku Ganji. Um, he's D tier. He's kind of an asshole. Where's the principal? From the Tokyo High School. He's not on this list. Um, but he would be A tier. Um, if I could put him on this list. And we've got Yuji. He's S tier. He's a sweet baby. And, you know, he's a good guy. He likes thick girls. Like, that's confirmed, you know? He, he's, he's pro thick girl and I appreciate that shit. Um, it's in the manga. Um, like, he says he he likes to with big ass. He's like Jennifer Lawrence. But they asked him in, like, a panel or something in, like, some some part of the manga. They're like, uh, if you could marry somebody in our class, who would be? And he picks this, like, uh, like plus-size girl. 
And people are like, why would you pick her? And he's like, because, like, she's truthful or some sh I don't know. She has, like, good qualities or something, but he would, like, marry her. And then she got all happy, um, even though people were talking shit about her. Um, but anyways, so there's my, my final ranking of the Jujutsu Kaisen characters. I hope you enjoyed this video. Hopefully it's not too long, but not too short either. And I do thank you guys for joining me. I really appreciate it. If you would like to follow me on all of my social media accounts, they're all in the description below. I have a Twitter, a TikTok. Um, I also have a Patreon that you guys can check out. It's also in the description. And if you would like to see your name on the screen right now, like I have these lovely patrons here, uh, both Anime Palooza and Elizabeth. I do thank you both for being the best patrons ever. And again, if you guys want to get your name on here for as little as a dollar a month, uh, you can go ahead and check out my Patreon and check out all the stuff I have there. I'm going to try to update my Patreon a bit more and, uh, you know, put some more cool stuff there. Um, give me some ideas, guys, what you think uh, I could try to do for Patreon. Because I do want to do more um, Patreon-specific Patreon -specific things. So I think that would be something I need your guys' help with. Um, especially if, you know, even if you can't, like, participate or anything. Like, I definitely want to credit you for any ideas that um, I do use in the future for, like, Patreon only stuff um and check out the q for you podcast uh that's also in the description as well as the twitter so you can go check out our past uh, podcast episodes and it's also up on anchor and spotify so you can search it up as well and new episodes are coming soon so again really appreciate you guys joining me for this video have fun stay safe and i'll see you in the next video <laughs>